YouTube, YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil coming through with another sneaker review, another sneaker opinion, guys. Today is a sneaker review and a sneaker opinion, but also a sneaker update. This is one of the sneakers that I haven't really um, done in a while, and I haven't really been copping as much in 2022, guys. So this is one of the releases that I either copped at the uh, late 2020 or something. Yeah, yeah, about late 2020. And man, time is just flying so quick. And now, what's a better sneaker to do than the Vampire Air Trainer 3 joints? Now, we're going to go over a little bit of history right here. You know what I mean? This Look, man. This sneaker, or this channel rather, uh, is for the people that actually like to rock their sneakers. We don't play the resale game and all that stuff. That's on them other channels, guys. It's one of the sneakers. It's one of the, not sneakers. <laughs> but I feel like this is one of the channels... That's a, of a dying breed of just people that actually want sneakers to keep, collect, and actually wear. So, yeah, because I'm going to get deep on this one right here. Um, but I'm also keep it kind of brief and fast, too. Not boring deep. But, uh, so, yeah, this one I just looked up. I, I kind of want to get into the Dracula showing here a little bit, but first off, we're going to do a little bit of overview. Now, the great Tinker Hatfield did design this sneaker. This is the Nike Air Trainer 3. Looking at the box, we got black, university, red, and white. This is for my box boys a little bit. Y'all know I do my sneaker diary. You know, it is what it is. Um, I do this strictly for a hobby, guys, and I post when I can, and uh, yeah. Now, red and black is definitely my favorite color, including purple too, because I do like the Raptor 7. So, this one was definitely up my alley. They came out with a few colorways. This had, when this had dropped that year, I think 2021, they might've also dropped a few more Air Trainer 3s, but uh, I see they're dropping a little bit more Air Trainer 1s now. Now, not too much has changed um, as far as like the two year period, as far as like wearing this. Now, I don't really have any creases and I do know that a lot of people like to complain about this sneaker. I would say maybe like, uh, it might be 60, 40. A lot of guys complain about the pinky rug right here that they have with the Air Trainer 3s and never fails. Cause even the Biotech joints, people were still complaining. It seemed like it never fails. Like, People like the sneaker, but it's not the most comfortable. And to be honest, this is one of them special sneakers that you have to have the foot for this. This is that Cinderella, Cinderella kit. You know what I mean? Like it can't just fit anybody, you know, because the way it's shaped. Even after you break this in, you might get a little bit more leeway, but we'll get into that too. So as far as materials go, you do got like a rough new book on the black right here on the paneling. Same thing as well, going through the black right here as well. You still got that rough, hard new buck, which is definitely not a bad thing. Everything does not need to be premium, guys. I know everybody be screaming premium, premium, premium. Um, now for a box price of 130 with these, I think I might've got these a few dollars less. This was slept on. For 130, not too bad. Um, you can actually wipe this down and actually wash it, not wash it like, but actually like wash it with most cleaners and so you don't feel it, you won't experience any like real fading all like that, like you would with like a red suede. You know, with a red suede, you could damn near scrub it till it's almost like pink. And you look at the rag and it's like, you know, the dye just went off on the rag. But it's much different with this black. You know, the black is a little bit more felt filling. Um, black doesn't bleed easy all like that. Um, yeah. So going on to the tumbled leather on the toe box with the perforations, definitely smooth. That gives it more of a premium look. But right here on the Nike swoosh, you do got that vinyl. Now they actually could have made the rest of this red, but it's all good. They made it more like of a gradient and it's more so like a patent leather, kind of like plasticky feel right here. And uh, yeah, same thing right there. So you can hear it right there. Um, also too, you do, they did lace this, they did top this off with a little bit on the red hints. And then obviously you guys got the Nike strap right here, like most Air Trainer 3's got. And uh, yeah, not too much of a big difference all like that from the previous Air Trainers. Cause you got the Air Trainer 1, you also got the Air Trainer 2 obviously. And I do have those for this video. Also too, you do got the speckles of red. I think that's like speckles of blood if you ask me. Also going to the back, you do have that Nike Air. And as you guys can see, you do have the bats up close. They like engraved on the inside 
of that material right here like this soft like new buck but it's still rough anyway you can still clean this as well this is definitely one of those sneakers that'll take a beating great as well pause also going to the tongue you do have the vampire teeth as well that's definitely a good look but the only thing i dislike about this sneaker is that the tongue do not stick up far enough but maybe that's me because i actually have mine laced at the top sometime sometimes i have them loose sometimes i have them right here at this jordan 4 like uh wing right here which i do like now this is one of the bigger things that was added to the air trainer 3 that's not on the air trainer 2 or the air trainer 1 but also moving on um you also do have a nice you got a little small mesh along the tongue now obviously it's black and then you also have a windbreaker material right here as well so behind the tongue well on the tongue as well so i like the colors i like the pop i even like the little tips the little red tips they really definitely um accented this sneaker real well going to the bottom you do have the typical air trainer three bottom you know you kind of almost got like that dial pad now the the soles haven't really changed any um well at least they haven't changed from the air trainer 2 so this is actually the air trainer 2 um sole at the bottom as well so we're gonna get off into that definitely got to get into those extras on here you got dracula with the nike swoosh definitely fly flames now this is how you print on an insole guys like this is not going to come out they screen printed this real good on here this is not vinyl the typical nike vinyl where if you wear it and wear it and wear it you know how the nike air eventually leave this is actually it's like screen printed in there direct the garment in there get it up close for you guys definitely look fly and flames so yep 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 you do got the purple as well These was definitely endorsed by Bo Jackson, specifically the Medicine Ball colorway. Now this is a Retro Plus colorway. This is holiday themed, obviously Halloween based. And uh, Tinker Hatfield ended up making these joints. Now let's start from the beginning, guys. I'm gonna end up going through the Air Trainer one a little bit. Now you should already know about this one already. The Air Trainer one, Andre Agassi. Um, Mac and Row end up rocking this joint. And basically this was one of those all purpose like sneakers tennis weightlifting football whatever you can basically do in this and that was one of the things that tinker wanted to do was make an all-around gym trainer so everybody can actually just have that one functional sneaker the sole on this is obviously pretty different compared to the air trainer 3 you know um kind of close but not really but you can see the inspiration. Now the thing to me is that uh, they never brought the swoosh around. The sneaker just looks so empty. So like you got the swoosh right here, but they don't bring it in right here. It's not really, it's like people kind of like forgot it. It's like Air Trainer 1, then it's the Air Trainer 3. But there are there is an Air Trainer 2, guys. And with the Air Trainer 2, you have this joint right here. Fly and Flames. They need to do more colorways of this sneaker. I don't know if they need Travis Scott. I don't know if they need Supreme to like do something wild with it to like reignite the OG, I mean not OG colorways, but extra colorways of the sneaker. But these color, this colorway remind me of the BW, the big window, Air Max uh, sneaker. <laughs> um, kind of give me dark wing duck vibes. Uh, now we got the same tooling as well, roughly. You guys can see that as well. You know, we still got the, the buckle at the top right here on the Air Trainer 2. Now, when the Air Trainer 2 came out, this had to come out in between 87 and 88. Um, obviously, since these dropped in 88. And this is where the soul started changing at. We went into the dial pad soul in the Air Trainer 2. But one of the things that the Air Trainer 2 has that the Air Trainer 1 and the Air Trainer 3 don't have is this Achille heel um, buffer right here. It's like a little uh, cushion for the back of the ankle. Now you do got a stubborn tongue a little bit right here. It sits kind of low, but it doesn't sit as stubborn as the Air Trainer 3. Um, but so far the biggest tongue is still the Air Trainer 1. Still had that big pronounced Nike Air as well. And then we go in like that with the Air Trainer 3. So, you know, the shrunken logo 
in the back is definitely taken from the Air Trainer 2. This is only just unique to the Air Trainer 2 as well. No leather is actually right here. You basically got like that Jordan 4 cage right here. You got that cage, like that net. And as you can see, you guys, you know, this is no wings yet. We don't have any wings yet. We get the wings on Air Trainer 3. I like the wings better, obviously, because I like the Jordan 4. Do get compliments on the Air Trainer 2 as well. We got the same exact sole, guys. Air Trainer 3, Air Trainer 2. Fly Flame sneaker. Everybody like the way the sneaker look, but they hate the way it fit. As far as wearing these straight out the box, it's one of the things you're gonna have to beat in. I would just say probably go a half size up just to be safe. This is one of the sneakers you might have to tap out of if you do go half size up and it still get to give you the pinky rub. The pinky rub doesn't too much go away because it's guys that still wear these sneakers afterwards still talking about pinky rub. These sneakers do break in, but they never will too much get like the ultimate softest comfort. Uh, that's the downside just to really the Air Trainer 3. You, know, you don't really too much hear any complaints about the Air Trainer 1 for some reason. I think that being because you only just got that one strap panel right here, but I think this is the panel that really gets people pinky right here. This one right here. And you know, you got, this is plastic guys. You know, if you look up close, it's not, like a durable it's not like a flexible rubber or something like that so it's kind of like milled down to the foot comfort level with this uh all the way up until this point i would still just give these basically like a 7.3 out of 10. i can last doing casual walks in these and maybe even maybe a brisk run i i wouldn't even dare try to play tennis in this thing so a strong 8.5 out of 10. i like the colorway man i'm definitely feeling it it got its own vibes you can actually wear this outside of Halloween because the colorway is just that uh, flexible with different outfits. Lastly, about the Dracula part, Dracula is based after Vlad the Impaler. I think he must have actually drank blood and that's end up inspiring the, the whole Dracula story. That's a whole history in itself. Dracul, I think that meant like devil or something like that and Dracula was the son of the devil or something like that, you know. But most people already know the simple part of the whole Dracula with the blood and the vampire stuff. So, yep, yep, yep. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. This is an update and a review in a way. So it was kind of long-winded, but you know, still got to do the history a little bit. This is for people that actually like sneakers, guys. Rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm out.